Yes, Mzanzi, you're still locked in. It's your feel-good breakfast show, and mm, I am so excited to talk about this next one. Now, look, for a lot of people, being involved in high-level sports is just a dream. But for some, it's almost like their day-to-day -day life. <laughs> now, listen to this. Shao Mafuna is one of those individuals who's living his dream, having been added to the Mercedes F1 team as a mechanical engineer. Yes, the dreams of our kids are coming true. And Mafuna has joined the F1 team's powertrain division, joining the team that supplies engines to the four teams that Mercedes-Benz AMG powers. Now, these teams are Mercedes-AMG, Aston Martin, McLaren, as well as Williams. Now, Mafuna is joining us now from the UK to chat about his journey and his excitement and working in the F1, the Formula One. Can you believe it? Brother, how are you doing, man? Very good, very good. Thank you very much for having me on the show this morning. You are just getting every single kid that's watching here to believe in dreams and to believe because you're literally living a dream right now. But let's get back to the beginning. Where did this all start, man? Becoming an engineer and getting into the sport uh, firstly, but also just your career in general. Like many out there, like I've always loved Formula One and my goal as a kid was to be an F1 driver. Um, you know, I was, I was fortunate enough to be able to race go-karts uh, in South Africa for a while and, and, and a bit in Europe. But, you know, pursuing a, a, a racing career is quite an expensive uh, ordeal. So, you know, that, that dream kind of uh, came to a bit of a halt. It's still there, a bit of it. But, uh, yeah, you know, I had to find a different path, you know, how to get into F1 because F1 was my dream, my goal. And so that was definitely the path, I, I, you know, my next path and something I was like, you know, let me devote my attention to, you know, being part of the engineering team behind him because I'll still be able to achieve my dreams and goals of being an F1. Yeah, man. If anything, I think you upgraded on your dream. You're not just driving it, you're <laughs> making it, you're building it. But let's just in inform Zanzi because maybe they aren't aware of exactly what an F1 mechanical engineer actually does. What do you do in the team? What are you going to be involved in? And uh, what is the most exciting thing about your job, man? I'm, I'm part of a, a, a big team, as you can imagine, of, of uh, engineers, all types of engineers. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer. But uh, you know what I do from day to day is, is design, manifest, design, and, and 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 take care of the all the intricate components that make up the best F1 engine on on the on the on the track at the moment. Um, so that's you know everything from 3D designs to proving out the designs. Uh, you know, to you are you own the part. So when it's out there on the car, um, you know that that part is something is your creation. So it's your baby. You want to make sure it's designed properly. You want to make sure it's going to give the best performance and stuff. So, so that's, that's what we do on a, on a kind of broader scale. Hey, man, um, I'm just thinking so to myself, you got no pressure because if any of these teams goes <laughs> down, everyone's going to now point at you because now we clearly see the faces behind it all. Yes, <laughs> no, man, yes, but look, yes, if anything so that... of the past seasons is to go by, then you are in safe hands and you're already doing an incredible job. I think the question, though, for everybody, seeing that you're working in the F1, you're working with the who's who in the game and some incredible talent too, have you met Lewis Hamilton by any chance? So, uh, funny enough, I, I met him when he was in. Uh, he came to South Africa once for a, um, I think, some media event. But uh, at the fact here, yeah, it's, it's been a bit tricky in the last few years with the with the pandemic. You can imagine. So we haven't had the factory visits, which they normally come and do twice a twice a year. Uh, but they did come by at the end of last year, which was really cool. Uh, he walked past my desk, gave me a little wink. I was like, "Don't worry, man." I got your, I got your engine, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hopefully we get to get have have more of those um, and and you know more interaction with them. You know the, the drivers really like you know spending time with the engineers and the engine and, and the build team behind their their engines because you know that's that's where they trust. You know that's where they you know they have to believe in the people that make their product. They believe in whatever's going to the back of my car. It's going to be super good, but it's not going to fail. Now listen, man, well, yeah. uh, talking about the pressure earlier, I think there's even more added to it because Mercedes are going to be trying to close the gap on Red Bull from last season. How does this feel? I mean, you mentioned the pressure of uh, being responsible for the parts, but now with such a big task ahead of you, how does that pressure kind of sit with, with yourself? It's interesting, you know, after the last race, you can imagine the word wasn't too much of a happy camp back on the side. Um, but you know, like literally the next Monday, as everyone got into work, uh, we all celebrated because we did win an eighth uh, co uh, constructors championship, which is uh, a world record already. So there was something to celebrate. But it was you know straight back, straight back to work. And um, I haven't had much of a break since the, the last race. We've been working flat out, um, and you know the proof is in the product. You know we've already fired up multiple engines already, and 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 you know progression in terms of the engine side, it's going really, really well. Um, 
so you know that that keeps us that's what you know drives us you know we there's a there's a chip on our shoulder and, and we've got something to prove and um i think the other team should be worried about um the fire that's been lit under oh i like bombs, that you want to put it that way <laughs> i like that man and i see that confidence in your smile too i know it's going to be a stellar season man what you're doing is so inspiring i don't think many south africans or many young kids even believe that they'd be able to achieve something like you've done right now so what words of encouragement do you have for them the one thing is i want all south africans to know that we are good enough um, we can do or can perform at this level, uh, you know, the, the universities that we have in South Africa are at the level of some of the best in the, in, in, in the world. So you should never doubt your education, never doubt yourself. Um, you are more than good enough. You are, you know, just as good as the, you know, the top guys out there. Um, you know, Formula One always does seem like a bit of Hollywood. You see it on the TV and that's where it ends, but it's not that. You, you can work in this environment. When chasing your goals, you always have to readjust uh, and, 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 you know, adjust the goalposts and, and, and that's how you keep going, keep progressing. So uh, don't ever, ever give up on your dreams. That, that's not an option. <laughs> um, but they definitely know that you can make it there and, and keep chasing that goal because it, it, it will happen. Shao, you are absolutely incredible, man. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for being a part it. of something, in my opinion, which I think is inspiring, revolutionary, and you're just motivating so many South Africans out there. I wish you nothing but the best of luck for the season. I know it's going to be a challenging one, but we back you, buddy. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, Sam. Yeah, thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> absolutely love it. Shao Mafuna, F1 mechanical engineer for Mercedes. The man is going to be taking over a good season coming up. And of course, we'll be plugging in on all the results and all the action from that for our sport reviews. But for now, let's carry on with the magic. <laughs>